Good day. So I got a different kind of gun for you today. It's a uh, <coughs> Remington Fieldmaster. It's a uh, pump 22. They call it the Model 572. Uh, 15 shot tube. It's kind of a nice gun. It's uh, one of the most reliable 22s I've ever dealt with. And uh, so I guess today I'd like to show you how to take her apart. So <coughs> you want to start with the trigger housing. Usually I'd take the stock off, but the guy who owned this gun before me, I think, used some Loctite on the bolt there. So kind of a pain to get off so I won't bother with it. Uh, so you want to start with these two pins right there. So you can just grab your punch and uh, mine take a little bit of tapping so grab your your mallet just give those both a tap out. They should come pretty freely. Just pull them out. Set them aside and then your trigger housing should just pull it right out and it should come out just like something like that. Alrighty. So from there, you've got to take the uh, the barrel off and uh, detach the pump from the action arm, and it'll take your bolts and everything out. So the Phillips screw, you can take this uh, bolt on the bottom out, and it is kind of it's kind of long. Take it out of there. And then your next step will be this bolt here that holds your arm onto your pump itself. Just get it out of there, out of the way, and as you unscrew it, you will hear the arm drop. And that's how you know it's loose. Alright, so now right here there is <clears throat> just kind of a set screw that holds your uh, barrel in place. So you can take that out. Right now from there, everything will separate from the gun, and uh, your bolt and everything is right in here, so it'll come out as well. Just like that, and then your action arm comes off, your bolt will come out, and then uh, your slide and everything will come off with, uh, with this part of the barrel here, but it's not really necessary. So there you go, there's the Fieldmaster stripped. All right, to reassemble this rifle, uh, you want to take your uh, your bolt, your firing mechanism there, and just feed it right back into the barrel, and it should sit in there nice and tight. <coughs> now, if you get your action arm lined up there on the side of where, uh, where your bolt's kind of indented, and you can feed that all into the rifle at once, make sure it's nice and tight, and then I like to throw that uh, Phillips screw right back in there just to uh, hold your barrel on while you're working with it. Okay. So once that's on, you can put your pin back in your set screw to hold on the barrel there. Get it screwed in tight and your next step will be putting your action arm back onto your pump. And so it does kind of sag a little bit, so it's smart. I kind of use a magnet sometimes just to hold it up into place so those holes can grab appropriately. Drop your pin back in. Tighten her up. Set. All right, now next will be your trigger housing. And you can slide it in just the way it came out. So get all that junk in there first, push it in. You should be able to just clip it down right into place, just like that. And your pins. And there's the Remington Fieldmaster Model 572.